Hey guys, welcome to my channel Success Sequence. In today's video, we are going to understand about how to identify and analyze a particular stock's move and understand that what could be the possible move in the future. For that, we are going to use candlestick to understand the market participant psychology uh, for a particular level. We are also going to understand the moving average and how it plays a crucial role. Apart from that, we are also going to consider the technical indicators with Fibonacci settings like uh, MACD, RSI, CCI and historical volatility outlook. So uh, if you have seen my previous video, I have already mentioned you uh, the various uses of this particular indicator. But in this today's video, I am going to give you the overall summary of how this indicator works, how to un understand the candlestick uh, patterns and the psychology and how to trade accordingly. So this video is uh, not going to be the recommendatory video. But in this video, we are going just going to look at the charts and identify how to ascertain that the whether the stock was, is going to move up down or remain stable and also we are going to identify a particular triggers that we should look on the chart if the stock is uh, going to behave in particular manner so if you plainly see this power grid chart what you can see is the market went up um, came down again went up came down again went up came down so all in all you can see at this particular level or this level you can see some sort of support however the final support will uh, would be 195 level but again it came here finally it went up so here you see a good amount of buying that has happened so the resistance uh, was 214 and as soon as it broke this 214 level market did quite significantly up uh, however you can see that it uh, did not sustain at a high levels and came down again and now is trading again at a level where it has generated a good amount of move uh, when when at this particular uh, level it traded in the past so here you can see again we have seen a good move here so now it is again trading here and it is showing some sign of uh, buying here so what we are uh, what we are interested in finding that whether this stock is again going to make a significant up move as it did in the past so this move uh, whether the stock will going uh, a stock is going to make uh, or not so there are uh, various things that we need to consider and first and most important thing is how the moving average is behaving so let us check what the moving average are suggesting so as you can see you can see a bullish crossover getting formed at a lower level so uh, one thing that we are need to observe is there is a bullish crossover further you can see that uh, there uh, the prices at a lower level got rejected continuously so that was also suggesting that the 200 uh, point uh, 200 price mark is a good support for the stock now we have seen a bullish crossover now there are three layers of moving average resistance that the stock need to break if it want to see a high level the first one would be 13 days exponential moving average 21 days exponential moving average and 34 days exponential moving average now you need to understand the sequence of the moving average how at uh, at which particular level price is trading whether the price is trading below the moving average and how the moving average is placed like the ideal setup for the bullish move would be that first it would be 8 days then it would be 13 days and 21 days but what you can see is all the moving average are placed inversely so now two things can happen uh, stock will try to trade at a high level it will face resistance finally it will trade down and if it did not find any support here it will finally broke break this level and it can go significantly down or it can get a good amount of support here range for uh, uh, trade for the uh, some time and uh, a range bound scenario for here get some momentum uh, and then price to trade at a high level again break this particular 21 days exponential moving average and then finally 34 days exponential moving average now it will consolidate and it will trade for uh, around the two th 213 levels and till the time it consolidates the moving average will start to get changed so the eight days exponential uh, moving average will uh, quickens and uh, it uh, the eight days exponential moving average will try and break 13 days then 21 days and then 34 days then the 13 days exponential moving average will try and uh, break 21 days 30 uh, 34 days then the 21 days and finally all the moving average will, uh, will trade in a particular manner that suggest that the all the particular moving average will act as a support for the market uh, instead of uh, resistance uh, as you can see in the in the present chart so 
to understand that whether this uh, uh, that particular move we are going to get or not what you need to do you need to do and you need to check whether the support exists at a lower level or not for that you uh, you don't need to do much you just need to uh, check the previous uh, time where the stock uh, traded at the particular level and whether uh, it got some buying there or not so we have seen in the past that at this particular level the stock did uh, get a good support and it traded quite uh, significantly at a high level so here also we can see that the prices got below again received a support and now it is trading at a high level above it days eight days exponential moving average so from moving every data it is suggesting that the uh, stock is continue to trade uh, at a high level but the moving average will act as a resistance so as i suggested the stock will uh, try and trade consolidate and finally will break uh, a particular day's moving average and, and again trade uh, continue its upward journey so for that upward move to sustain uh, for example if you see uh, next day you uh, get this up move now the uh, up move will is sustainable or not to find out that what you need to observe is the divergence in the moving average if the red line goes up and white line goes down there is a uh, divergence that is this is suggesting that the um, eight days exponential moving average is going up means the new buyers are entering in the market and the old buyers are also holding on to the position so this suggests that the stock will hold and it will uh, at even if it it, it will not going to go at a high level it will uh, trade for a stable to bullish kind of outlook so first thing to continue uh, to understand that whether the stock is going to continue to trade up you need to observe the uh, behavior of the moving average uh, the the better the higher the divergence the better the trade will be okay the next thing would be macd so as you can see just me let me the let me just uh, uh, shorten a chart bit what you can see here is the from here when the macd closed below its yellow line you can see that the stock has significantly got down and the moving average uh, change happened here and from then the stock is trading continuously going down so here you can see the some attempts are have been made in the past but it did not uh, remain successful now when you see that this much amount of effort has been made and now the stock is again trying to come and break at this particular level so if this break happens you should definitely go long in this particular stock but with other indicators you also need to consider the other indicators because the stock had uh, stock did try to break this particular level many times in the past it did not remain successful and now uh, the and now the fresh buyers are coming into the picture and if if this uh, if with all this the stock uh, breaks is this yellow line you can definitely expect a higher move to continue and also remember that if the stocks um, uh, stock will break this yellow line it will uh, trade near the zero line so if you can remember my video wherein i have a detail uh, i have explained in detail that the zero line cross over concept if this uh, if this happens you can see that there will be a full stretch of the macd crossover and this will enable you to get the high level that we are uh, we have seen in the past so that is again something positive but for that uh, to happen you need to uh, observe this yellow line and the macd should break and trade above this yellow line if it does not uh, sustain above this yellow line you can again uh, see the continuum of the down move now look at the rsi from the day the uh, this white line has uh, gone below the uh, yellow line you can see that the stock has continuously traded on a downside and you can also see that the rsi did try to break above but it did not remain successful now see the number of attempts the rsi has made to trade above this yellow line so this much amount of att attempts has gone in vain so now if this if you see that now the rsi breaks this yellow line you are definitely going to see a good amount of boom because the buyers need to uh, uh, need to make their a uh, good amount of effort to trade uh, to make the stock trade above a particular level because the seller will also acting and they are, they will also be uh, they are also going to be very aggressive so buyer need to uh, show their muscle at this particular level so if the yellow line gets broken with uh, uh, macd also you can definitely expect the stock to continue if the yellow line do not uh, if yellow line did not break you can uh, do not break in the future you can again see the uh, downward movement to continue. Continue. Uh, as you can see, CCI was trading in uh, extreme negative zone. Now it is coming at a high level. But what uh, the conservative uh, CCI observer will think that that 
माइनस एटी नाइन टू प्लस एटी नाइन और दे आर यूजिंग द हंड्रेड एट प्लस हंड्रेड माइनस हंड्रेड इज इज अ जनरल रेंज फॉर द सी सी आई इंडिकेटर एंड इट डिड नॉट सजेस्ट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ अप मूव और डाउन मूव बट इफ यू आर यूजिंग माई स्पेशल मूविंग एवरेज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ सी सी आई इफ दिस येलो लाइन गेट्स गेट्स ब्रोकन यू कैन डेफिनेटली एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू शुड नॉट वेट टिल द सी सी आई रीच इज पर्टिकुलर एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू एंड यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो लॉन्ग provided this particular uh, yellow line breaks volatility if you can uh, observe that volatility has uh, uh, gone quite high now for the bullish move to happen you need to see the drop in volatility so uh, to ascertain that whether the move that you are making will continue to remain bullish or not you will you need to observe the continuous falling uh, continuous fall in volatility and if the white line breaks the yellow line it will be better with the as uh, ci yellow line getting broken uh, R, uh, rsi yellow line getting broken and the macd uh, yellow line getting broken so all this move so what i am trying to uh, make you aware is that uh, it is easy to predict that uh, with the reasonable amount of research that the whether the stock will trade on a stable with uh, with the stable to bullish bias for the next day or not but to understand that how much to hold on to the gain and whether the stock will continue to make up uh up move or you need to uh, book your profit that is uh, something which is very crucial and the most of the players are not aware of this fact so if you do all this kind of analysis what you will be able to achieve is you will be able to achieve a optimum profit with minimum loss so it's all about uh, all about risk management especially if you are trading in an option segment so make sure you understand the strategies quite clearly uh, what i will request is uh, just observe the chart and the behavior of the indicator and if you find it useful you can try and uh, trade uh, on a paper trade a uh, paper trade basis so what you can do is you can uh, uh, pick up the stock and try and trade on a paper so if you get fair amount of reasonable level of accuracy then only you can try and trade with your real money but i would suggest that do not trade aggressively and always take uh, uh, always uh, bear in mind that uh, the option chart or the option data is very confusing at a time and you should not solely rely on option chart data because it looks very uh, aggressive and looks very uh, lucrative that uh, trading ba- solely based on option chart data and if you are with me on my whatsapp broadcast i am i am giving you a quite detailed report that also uh, enables the option writers to make their position and adjust their position accordingly so consider the overall strategy and overall indicator uh, including the moving average candlestick and rsi and everything and then only make a move so this will give you a fair amount of accuracy and if you uh, if you are if you do not remain successful as well you will be able to uh, come out of a trade with a minimal loss so and that was my analysis for uh, uh, today's uh, uh, today's a particular stock so it is not like a recommendation or something but you just need uh, just watch out for this particular stock and see how a particular indicator behaves then you you will be uh, able to visualize the move that we are predicting right now uh, thank you for watching my video as always if you like my video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family and in case if you have any doubt you can always mention it in the comment section of the video thank you